Of course, there's like little things that I always feel like I could work on and I definitely want to commit to that and commit to myself this year. Hey guys, so we are vlogging today and I am very proud of myself because you guys know I'm not a big vlogger, but I found a way to set up my camera in the car. So this should be easier because the issue with me is that I had to hold my phone and every time I'd place it on the dashboard, like it would just fall. So I'm like, all right, I'm not doing this. But anyways, today I'm actually gonna be running to the mall really quick because let me tell you guys, my Apple Watch just decided one day to just stop working. And I already knew this was gonna happen because I've had the Series 3 Apple Watch for about two and a half years already. And I knew what I was getting myself into when I got an older version of a watch, but since it was my first watch, I didn't really care to use it for anything other than fitness. And I still, till this day, just use it for that. So, sorry if I'm not looking at you guys, obviously I'm driving, so. It's a lot easier for me to vlog while I'm driving because I always have the most to say when I'm in my car for some reason. But anyways, so I purchased the watch and loved it. I am like obsessed, I'm a big Apple Watch fanatic. I think it makes my workouts so much better. Um, I've worked out without it, I don't necessarily need it, but I do feel like it does push me to go a little harder because if I know that like, oh, if I go a little harder, you know, I could burn X amount of calories and you know, I wanna get my heart rate up to a certain level. So I find that it helps me push myself more and being able to see my workouts help me. And I like it personally, I think it's, a good motivator I feel like it keeps me motivated it keeps my friends motivated because I have it so that that way I can see my friends who work out with me and they're able to see like my workouts and we can kind of see like oh you finished oh now I gotta work out you know what I mean so with that said I just popped it on the charger like I normally do at night the other day and out of the blue like I took it I didn't even think to look at it sometimes I just like I'm moving in my sleep so I just like popped it on one day and realized it wasn't charging or it wasn't charged I was like what the hell like I definitely had it on the charger last night like I'm so confused nope wasn't on the charger I mean no it wasn't charging it was on the charger so when I got back home I was like okay maybe I just didn't plug it in correctly or something I don't know but no it just turns out that it no longer charges so there's that I've done everything I have like flipped it moved the um, the wall adapter, I've ch changed that. Like, it's an older model, so I can literally use any charger. Nothing, nothing. So, I have been having the only dilemma of like, should I get the new new, or should I just get the new, but the like, regular, schmegular. So I do have an Apple plug, <laughs> who's, a ha who's also my friend. Um, but he always puts me on, like, they have a friends and family discount that they're able to give to their friends and family, like, whenever. So every time I buy an Apple product, I buy it through him. So I obviously I'm gonna consult a genius because they know. So I asked like, hey, like, what do you think I should do? Of course he told me to go big or go home. So essentially I was going to go and get the, the Series 7. But then they're out of stock everywhere. I have to wait like 10 days to get the Series 7. So I'm like, I don't want it that bad. Like I'm cool with the SE. So they have an SE and they have a Series 7. And the difference is the SE came out a year ago and the Series 7 came out this year. The main difference is the ECG. It'll be able to calculate your ECG and your, excuse me, your blood oxygen levels. Things of, you know, that are kind of cool, but not necessarily like super necessary. So I personally feel like I can live without these things. In my opinion, like I don't feel like I necessarily need them. So um, since they didn't have it in stock and I'd have to wait 10 days, like I like to use it, my watch when I'm working out. So I decided I'm like, I'm just gonna go with the SE. This is God telling me to save a little money because he knows I'm probably not gonna even use those features. So yeah, I ended up going with the SE and now we're on the way to pick it up. Like you guys did not ask me about why or where I'm going, but I figured I'd share that with you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited to get it. I'm excited to play with it. Um, I upgraded my phone to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I think I told you guys a few videos ago and I loved being able to film content on my phone again because it's just, the quality is so much better. So, with that said, having a new phone, and you can't, like, I wasn't able to pair my old Apple Watch to my new phone because apparently, like, you needed a newer phone, or you needed a newer Apple Watch to pair it with that phone. I hate when Apple does that, by the way. Like, they really need to stop doing that because I also have an iPad. I want to say it's an iPad mini. Love that thing. But I can't use it anymore because it's, like, when it's outdated, you can't download 
any apps. Like the app store doesn't even work. So I'm like, what's the point of this thing? Like you shouldn't sell me something that a few years from, like a few years down the line, I need to, uh, like I have to get a new one. I don't like that. Like I want to be able to just be able to use it. Like the, f I'm gonna try not to curse. I already was meaning to upgrade because I like to connect my phone to my watch. I like when like I have important calls coming through, like it'll tell me on my watch if I need to stop. Tiny little details like that that had me wondering like, should I upgrade, like whatever. I was just not trying to make that investment like right now. But it wasn't that bad because I ended up going with the more affordable option. And yeah, so we're gonna go pick it up now. I'm excited because I haven't been able to use my watch in like four days. And I'm someone who can go four days without using her watch. But like when you know it doesn't work and you have no option to use it, I feel like it's different. It hits different. Yeah, we are at the mall now. I'm excited. I want to get coffee too because I did not drink coffee today. So we might make a quick trip to Starbucks first and then go grab our watch. Priorities, you know? Okay guys, so we just finally picked up the watch. Here she is. I'm excited. I'm not gonna unbox it in the car because, you know, you know, but I'm definitely excited to have a new watch because, I mean, I guess it was time. This is part of my Christmas gift to myself because, I mean, I've already done too much shopping, like too much. Black Friday, oh, by the way, I went to Starbucks. I ended up getting a grande shake and espresso with whip, and I added one pump of sugar-free vanilla and soy. So I like adding whip. When I went to Jamaica, they gave me a black coffee with whip, and I thought that was amazing. Like, it was just black with some whipped cream, and it was just so good. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna actually add it today. I never add whipped cream, but we're switching it up today. Of course, I can't leave the house without someone asking me to pick something up for them so that's what we're gonna go do my parents were like hey can you do me a favor and pick up x y and z from the supermarket so their assistant is like here and ready so we're gonna go and do that really quick before heading back home but yeah those are the vibes that's the vibes i didn't actually bring you guys into the mall with me and walk through because there's nothing really exciting about walking into the apple store i literally just check in they give me they check my my id and stuff to make sure i'm the one who paid for it all that and that's pretty much it and then they just have me stand outside to pick it up i love that service that check in and they just bring it out to you it's amazing yeah honestly i'm so happy with the setup i just created here and if i vlog at night i just need to have lights and that of which i have a ton of lights that i can use so the setup is about to be fuego you guys are about to hear so much of me now you're gonna be so sick of me Y'all remember this song? Okay, let me not play too much because I don't want YouTube to take down my video. But of course I went to buy one thing and look how cute these little Christmas trees are. I bought this in red, green, and obviously gold. I don't want to take them all out because I don't want to get glitter all over my car. The glitter literally flies right off of this product this little Christmas tree. Look at me thinking I'm talking about hair products. So we are on our way home now. Thank you. Um, I can't wait to show you guys what I do with these little trees because they're so cute. I ended up getting three in addition to what my parents needed because I can't just go somewhere and not pick up everything else. I went to Christmas tree shops and they have the best Christmas decorations. Of course they should because it's a Christmas tree store. But they don't really sell that many Christmas trees. I remember when I moved here to Connecticut from the Bronx like I saw that store I was like do they sell Christmas trees all year long like that's weird but nah they just sell everything and sell like very little Christmas trees I remember I tried to buy a Christmas tree one year and they barely had any options so I was like that's kind of ironic because what are the odds that Christmas tree shops doesn't really have that many Christmas trees I think I might make this vlog kind of like a I want to start sharing my fitness journey with you guys and I've been saying that but I haven't done it you know I do share like when I do a workout but I never share like what my goals are and all of that why did it get dark so yeah I never share what like what my goals are and what I'm looking to achieve from these workouts and it's kind of like I think it's just more it's a it's a field that I haven't tapped into because I know that when I talk about it on here I have to be more committed 
not for you guys, but more for me as well, because I know that I'm gonna want to be committed. If I'm gonna be like, oh, this is what I wanna do, these are my goals, like, it's gonna be more real. So I think that's why my hesitation on talking about my fitness journey and talking about fitness in general has been there. But I think that I, I'm ready. I think I'm ready to just share what my thoughts are. Obviously, we're human, so if things don't work out the way we expect them to, it's normal. But yeah, I think I'm ready to chat about it. Once I open my watch, I think when I do the unboxing, like I'll talk to you guys about like what I'm looking to achieve and what my history with fitness is. Like you guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys see my watch all the time. So you guys know I actually work out. Um, but I obviously just like everyone else, like I've been going through my fitness journey for years now. Like I wanna say since I was like 14, I've been going through it. So I think we're gonna chat about it today. I think I feel ready to do that today. So let's do that. Okay guys, so this is a continuation to the Apple Watch conversation we were having and I felt like I should just talk a little bit about my fitness goals moving forward because I think if I actually talk about it on YouTube, I may actually stick to it. So a little background story. So I do often work out. Like I'm somebody who feels like I need to work out and it's not even just for the sake of looking good. It's more for feeling good and also for mental health, physical health, like overall just it's just it makes my life so much better. Movement in general just does really well for me as it's pretty much does for everybody but I know there's some people who just prefer to do different types of movement not necessarily high intensity workouts so that's what I feel works best for me so I want to say as of I've done a little bit of everything so I've done classes I've had trainers I've done my own thing but I go through different phases in my life where different things work better for me at different points in my life and I just realized that this water is here so it kind of looks like a marketing essentia <laughs> but whatever anyways so I, right now I'm at a point in my life where my overall goal is to really feel good. I also wanna look good, I'm trying to get snatched. But my biggest issue is food. Like I know exactly what I need to be doing. I'm literally a trainer's dream because I know exactly what I should be doing. I know exactly how to get to where I wanna be. But I just love to eat. Like food to me has always been like the biggest block to getting me where I want to go and um, I'm fully aware of it and I have a healthy relationship with food I want to say but when it comes to like counting calories that's what works best for me like I know for a fact that when I get on a deficit I lose weight I get on a surplus which is where I have been <laughs> it's like I'm not surplusing intentionally but but with that said like I know what I should be doing and where I need to be to get to where I want to go does that make sense? But for me right now, when it comes to working out, I'm at a point in my life where I do, I feel like I do a lot of thinking for work. A lot of my job being creative requires me to think a lot and it's, it requires me to just constantly be thinking of different ways to be innovative or can, different ways to do this video, that video, like different ways to just do things differently. So since I feel like I spend so much time thinking, the last thing I wanna do when I go to a gym is think. So I find that right now I'm not in a space in my life where I can go to a gym and just do my own thing without thinking about 10,000 other things. I either need a trainer or I need to stick to like class-based things. So as of September, I wanna say, I've been more consistent starting September because I was traveling a lot over the summer. But as of September, I was very consistent with CrossFit and I've been doing CrossFit ever since. I did not think I'd ever be someone who'd enjoy CrossFit because I've just heard the bad stigma that it has. It has such a, you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna hurt this, you're gonna do that, you break this. And honestly, what I've learned from doing CrossFit is that it's not that. Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be like a diehard CrossFitter, but I do enjoy CrossFit workouts and doing the workouts that work best for me. Like I'll modify different things because of course I don't do like crazy pull-ups and all that yet. So. so over the summer, I actually felt called to try CrossFit. So I was like, you know what? Let me try a class and see what like what this is about. And then ever since that one class, like I've been hooked ever since and I've really been enjoying the workouts overall. Um, but I do know I'd see more drastic results had I just been on a deficit or had been eating within my calorie range. And for the most part, I do eat healthy, but 
I do get very hungry doing CrossFit workouts. I don't know what it is, but, but something about those workouts just get me so hungry. So I'm just in a space where I'm just ready, in a space where I'm ready to commit. And I think if I publicly say it on my social platforms and I do it publicly, then I may actually like fully commit because I know I have you guys watching me. I don't know, something about like the pressure that you guys give me, it's good pressure. Like I get so much pressure when I say, when I announce I'm gonna be doing something, like I know you guys are like expecting it or you guys are watching. I know you guys know I'm human too, so like if I fall off, like it's cool, but I figured I'd announce it. I think this year definitely will be the year. I know I say that all the time, but like the year that I actually stick to hopefully my goals when it comes to fitness, like I am just so tired of like, not feeling comfortable with my weight and the way I look and it's not that I don't because I love myself don't don't get me wrong I love myself but of course there's like little things that I always feel like I could work on and I definitely want to commit to that and commit to myself this year and I think just the whole Apple Watch vlog thing that I started I felt called to come on here and just share my journey with you guys and I think that's something I might start incorporating to my YouTube, my Instagram, possibly TikTok too because I'm on TikTok now if you guys didn't know. Yeah I don't know I just felt called to share and I don't have like a number in mind. I'm not a numbers girl. I've never been someone who like weighs herself like 24 seven. I've learned that like at some of my heavier weights, like I've looked my best because muscle also weighs a ton. So I don't know, I don't have a number. Like I'm like, oh, I wanna weigh X amount. But I do want to just overall just feel and look better. It's not that I don't feel good cause I do work out often. So it's not that, you know, I feel sluggish or anything, but I just want to commit to myself. And I want to be the best version of me that I could be. So I'm going to commit to eating significantly healthier this year and making better choices. Um, not that I make bad choices all the time, but like sometimes, you know, you don't got to be having a drink. Like maybe you could skip out on having a drink from time to time. Alcohol is not always the best. I don't have a problem, but I do enjoy, you know, grabbing a drink and going out and hanging out with friends and stuff. But I think... Cutting that down to a minimum this year will definitely be something I'm gonna try to do. But don't get me wrong, I'm definitely gonna live my life. I'm not gonna just just stop doing things completely, but I am gonna be more conscious about my habits and all of that. But I think I'm gonna share my journey more with you guys. Maybe share like food ideas and like maybe specific workout routines maybe bringing you guys along with me sharing my thoughts on crossfit if you guys want more of a specific workout on crossfit like sneakers fitness apparel all that stuff like i want to start talking more about it so i could be more about it you know yeah so overall for 2022 i want to say my goal is just to look the best i've ever looked obviously i know it's not going to happen overnight i'm very much aware that that's not something that like just happens but i do want to dedicate this year for me i am you know, I'm not old, but I'm getting older. This year I turned 26. I am officially going to be off of my parents' insurance. So that's adulting. Like, I gotta I gotta get my life together. So I just want to be the best version of me that I could be. So I know that sharing that with you guys is going to push me to do it more and to share it and to be more vulnerable about it because I've always felt a little nervous about sharing that on social media just because... I don't feel like I'm qualified to share things. You know, a lot of people ask me all the time, like, oh, can you share your workout routines? Can you share um, what you eat? Can you share like a bunch of things? People ask me about fitness things all the time and I never feel like I'm in a space where I'm able to do that for you guys. I'm hoping that sharing this on social can inspire all of us to get on board because you don't have to wait till the new year to get your life together. I know I'm someone who's, I'm a walking testimony of that. Like I will forever, do things when I feel like doing them. I'm not gonna just wait till, oh, I'll wait till January 1st. Like, nah, it's not happening. You have a whole month right now to get your life together before the new year, and I'm gonna do it. So, cheers to getting fit. And again, I don't have a number in mind. Um, like, progressively, more fitness videos are gonna come out. I'm gonna share more of like fitness apparel, like things that I personally like. Cause obviously I'm a thicker girl. So I know there's a lot of thick girls out here that are probably curious, like what do I use? Like what leggings I like, um, sports bras, all of that. So I'm definitely gonna be sharing more of that on here. And um, if you don't wanna see it, that's cool too. I'm gonna start posting more. I'm always gonna be posting about curly hair. Don't get me wrong. I'm always gonna be a curly hair channel. Curly hair is always gonna be a part of this YouTube channel, but I also want to dive into this cause it's something I'm really passionate about and something I really want 
to get more serious about so i think like i said if i talk about it i will be more about it you know now i'm on a public scale now but yeah guys that's all for today's video i hope you guys liked it i know it was a little different um and i know i talk a lot i know a lot of you guys like it i know a lot of you guys are just like oh my god girl you could talk which is why i'm like maybe i should start a podcast because i dead ass can talk all day um but I know a lot of you guys like it, so it's cool. The big part of my Capricorn head-ass personality, like a big part of me is just, I'm a talker. I you literally used to get in trouble in school. You know how like on your report card, it gives little notes about like how the student is overall? My grades were always phenomenal, but the comment was always socialized. She loves to socialize. No matter where in the room you put me, I will talk. So the fact that I've brought this with me throughout life and it's like a big part of my job is to speak it's kind of crazy like I think it's actually pretty funny but yeah so cheers to being healthier cheers to sharing more about my fitness journey with you guys I am excited I am nervous I am just a lot of things um, I've been thinking about trying the 75 hard I know it's like a challenge that you you see I was gonna just end this video I'm talking about things again apparently you dedicate yourself to read 10 pages of a book um, drinking a certain amount of water which is very easy for me since I already drink a lot of water um, and you commit to doing two workouts a day for 75 days um, yeah it's like a bunch of little things but I don't know I might try it maybe if I do I'll obviously talk about it maybe do a vlog on it too but yeah I'm excited I'm excited to get involved and to get my life together because when you look good you feel good and everything just falls into place you know what I mean and if I'm being totally honest, like during COVID, I did the most. I used to bake brownies at like 12 a.m. I was eating a ton of different things. And for me, I feel I feel like I haven't gotten back to what I looked like before COVID. Like, I don't feel like I've gotten to that. I'm just really good at like, you know, using cute outfits to cover certain things. But I don't want to have to do that anymore. Like, I want to feel good. Like, I want to, not that, again, it's not that I don't love myself. I do. I love my body too. And my body, you know, she's been through a lot. You know, she's, she's, she's. I love her. I want to be better to my body overall, you know? And I, I feel like I do take good care of it, but I want to take better care of it. And I think this is perfect for us to do together. We got to come up with a name for this. I don't know what. So comment down below if you guys are going to join me on this fitness journey. If it's something that's been a challenge for you as well, share your stories down below. I am here for you and we're going to do this. Yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss another video. Yes, I'm, I'm rocking the new watch, by the way. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.